back at it this week with Programming 101. And we're still talking about nonlinear periodization. Today we're going to talk about the tier system, which was developed by Joe Ken, who is currently the strength and conditioning coach for the Carolina Panthers. So where the tier system is broken up into three tiers, total body, lower body, and upper body. Total body refers to um, any movement that you do with your total body. So it's going to be like your deadlift, any of your Olympic style movements and variations of each of these. So it could be like the hang clean, the snatch, uh, power clean, squat clean, um, any type of variation of deadlift. Lower body um, includes um, basically knee and hip extension. So while the total body was three extensions, knee, hip, shoulders, anything like that, uh, you look at lower body, it's just two extensions, which is your knee and your hip. So we got squats, lunges, single leg squats, leg press, etc. Stuff like that. And our upper body is broken up into either pushing or pressing or pulling movements. Um, and so pushing and pressing, we have the bench press, standing press, dips, push-ups, etc. Pushing and pressing. And pulling, we have obviously pull-ups and any type of row. So bend over row, dumbbell rows, um, so basically a horizontal or a vertical pull. So as we move over here, we'll show you how it's broken up. So basically, like I said, it's broken in three tiers and I always follow this order, total, lower, upper. So right here we have, a th in the black we have a three by three tier. So on Monday you have a total um, body, lower body, upper. Wednesday, lower, upper, total. Friday, upper, total, lower. It always follows in that um, order. So if you want to do a three by five, you go total, lower, upper, total, lower, et cetera, et cetera, and et cetera. If you want to do a three by seven, you would just add, for example, here, it goes total, lower, then you go upper, and then you go back to total. But it always starts, on the next day, it always starts with your, um, your second movement. So as we start a total, we'll go a lower, and as we start lower here, we'll go upper. And I'll explain that when we go to uh, talk about how to program this for the week. So flip this around. So right here we have a simple three by three strength tier. You can break these tiers into different type of uh, uh, different movements. Um, for overall, this is really good for athletes, so you can break it up to a, a football tier, a basketball tier, whatever you want to do, because every movement has a different one. So we're doing a strength tier. So on, mode, on Monday, we'll do uh, total max effort, lower dynamic effort, and upper will be a repeat effort. Wednesday, we're going to lower max effort, Friday, upper max effort. So you can see that the max effort stays across the board, for your first movement of the day, in dynamic effort, it's the second movement, and repeat effort is gonna be the third movement. So if you do not know what that means, if we refer to Prilipin's uh, chart, uh, max effort is gonna be 80 to 90% of your one rep max, uh, dynamic effort is 60 to 75% of your one rep max, and repeat effort is 70 to 80% of your one rep max, or you can think of it as we talked about an undulated periodization, strength, power, and hypertrophy. All right, so basically that's how you uh, set up a, a three by three tier. Like I said, you want to add a five, you'll go, you'll add your um, two more tiers to each. And that's basically it. One more video on conjugate periodization, and then I'll show you how to put all this together and make your own programming.